What's up, babes? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, hello, welcome. Today, I'm gonna be doing a DIY, wispy, like wet look hybrid set on myself. So if you are interested, make sure you keep on watching. Ciao. Take one, action. Okay, so we're gonna hop into this tutorial. Y'all, I'm looking crazy, don't mind me in this video, but let's focus on the eyes, okay? So this is how my eyes are looking. I just finished wearing some lashes, but I took them off previous to recording the video. Now we're gonna prep our eyes. I used a rose water um, vegan toner. It's 100% like alcohol free, no harsh anything to the eyes. So I like to use it on my lashes. Then once I kind of clean off my lashes really good, I like to use my fan and my spoolie to kind of like brush out my lashes. Like some lashes are stubborn, they like to fall and go a different type of ways. So. Okay, so next we're hopping into the glue. Now this is my little ringlet that I am actually putting the glue in and this is the glue that I will be using. This is from For Belly. I do have a review on my channel already. We're gonna hop into the glue and everything later. Um, I just want to like show you guys what exactly is going on. So first I'm taping off my eyes this is completely optional honestly like if you have the maps or if you have tape you can do this um or you don't have to at all i like to do it especially this part where i'm like lifting up my eyelid this tape i also have on my amazon storefront so just make sure you guys check it out as well as um all the other things in this video so these are the lashes that I'm going to be using. I'm, I was kind of pointing out how I would be using them even though you guys didn't see. So I'm starting off with adding the wisps. Now I'm adding some closed fans is what they're called. They're literally not spread out and it's maybe like five to eight lashes, but they're closed. So they're, they're not giving you like the volume. They're literally just giving you that wisp like wisp wet look if that makes sense um i've been watching <laughs> literally y'all i've been watching youtube videos about how to get different looks just because when i normally do my eyelashes especially with the individual lashes and not the clusters i normally go for um a cat eye always and i always just stick to the cat eye just because baby just making me look she just the cat eye just does something to me you know what i'm saying she just makes me look sultry sensual and sexual okay but just trying something different and I wanted to try some wisps and see if I can do them on myself now it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted them to but I did like the look of the doll eye or the open eye so when I go in and add the wisps or my closed um, fans I go in with 11s toward the corner and outer crease of my eye then toward the middles with 13s on both sides and then the very middle i go in with fifth or 14s okay y'all so i literally had to come on my camera phone because i am i look like one of the who's from whoville okay nevertheless so y'all see my eyes okay this eye popping like it's definitely giving wispies definitely giving open eyes definitely giving zoll i like i love it obsessed with it amazing this eye okay it's New Year's Eve. I don't know when y'all are seeing this video, but it's New Year's Eve. I'm currently in Iran. My teammates want to do something special for us. So they're coming to pick me and my other American teammate up right now. I was in the middle of doing this other eye. So I'm going to have to put some either some glasses on or I got like five minutes to do as many fans as possible. <laughs> Pray for me, okay? But I just wanted to come and give y'all a quick little update because this is crazy. But this is how I'm looking though. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you guys have an amazing, prosperous, elevated, blessed, peaceful 2024. And I wish that for you. Okay, so I just had to throw that in there just so y'all knew what was going on. This is the next day where I'm about to add some more lashes. I did end up adding some more lashes that last night um, <laughs> to kind of help out with the look. But baby, we were struggling, I'm not gonna lie to you. The way I was stressed was crazy. So today I'm just kind of going in, in that same eye and just adding some lashes where I see that there are sparse or where I can actually see my natural lashes. Um, and I'm using my other tweezers to kind of just pick around and see where there is a natural lash and I can add a fan to. 
Now, um, there is a couple clips where I'm showing you guys uh, exactly how I try or attempt to make my fans. This isn't the perfect way, but I'm just showing you guys. So I pick up a group of lashes, um, I pinch them together, and then I use the ridges of my little ring to kind of put keep the lashes together with the glue on top. I hope that makes sense. Um, and that kind of helps me make my fans. If y'all know how to do lashes and you have another type of way, child, please feel free to leave it down in the comments. But this is just kind of how YouTube taught me and just watching tutorials and just trial and error, honestly. Um, another big thing with doing my lashes, especially with the professional glue, the glue does have a slight fume to it, even though it is for sensitive eyes and it's supposed to be like a low fume type of thing. Um, it does have a slight fume. so applying a couple lashes and using my fan and using my my spoolie to kind of brush them out and set them in place that's definitely crucial um just so that your eyes are not just tearing up and you know all that good stuff so definitely want to have a fan on standby and all that good stuff so as you guys can see my eye is getting a little bit watery so i went ahead and took a break and just let my fan kind of go and i just wanted to also see where i needed to fill in or if i wanted to add some more um that also gives you that opportunity to do so just brushing out your lashes every maybe like five fans that you add to your eyes so at the beginning of the video, I was just adding my clothes fans on top or on bottom um, just to lashes that I could see. But once you begin to add more lashes and more fans on, it gets harder to see your natural lashes. So that's where the second set of tweezers comes in where you can literally like see me. I am using the one set of tweezers to open up if I see a natural lash and then I use the second set of tweezers to go ahead and apply the actual lash. So you guys can see me right here. So we are coming to a close at the end of this video, but I just wanted to say the glue, um, it is a professional glue like I mentioned a couple times before. However, my go-to glue is the Ardell Lash Tight um, Dark Adhesive. That's my go-to glue and I feel like for beginners that is a better glue to use or even if you're not a beginner, it's just a safer glue to use. I definitely don't recommend using a um, professional lash glue if you're not comfortable doing lashes if it's your first time if you or if you are a beginner definitely take your time and ease into that or do not try it at all because you definitely will mess up your eyes okay especially me doing it while I have my eyes open I wanted to put that out there just so that and I'm not promoting like using professional lash glue and like literally messing up your sight because it's not that deep seriously um, do whatever is comfortable for you but that is the end of this video I'm just using my spoolie and my fan to kind of finish it my look make sure Sure you guys check out my amazon storefront with all of the products and everything that i use in this video i think that this little wispy wet look i was definitely it was cute i'm not gonna lie to you it, it definitely could use some work but it was cute so make sure you guys like comment subscribe if you like this video um and yeah i'll see you babes on the next one ciao